U.S. citizen returning to the United States in the previous 14 days will be subject to up to 14 days of mandatory quarantine. Yeah, Boney, it's your turn. All right. I think I'm going back to a comedy musician right now. I think I'm going with Anthony. Woo! Anthony. Okay. What's going there on? he is. What's up, you guys? I'm doing all right. Thanks for thanks for having me. Um, huh? uh, yeah, it was, I mean, it was fun. Uh, when I was here uh, last time, it, it was nice to do one of these kind of shows where uh, you guys – seemed to know about stuff that I have done. So it was, like, uh, <laughs> it was fun to, to talk to you guys instead of like, uh, you know, sort of generic questions. So that, that was good. Uh, and uh, so my 2020, um, right as I was putting out, the same week that I was putting out this comedy oh, music pandemic video. album. Uh, what's that? Erica's mic is on. Oh, Erica. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought she said my video was off. So I... no, no, no. Uh, so the same week that I was putting out this this comedy music uh, pandemic album, I also like uh, Sylvia got uh, COVID. So oh, uh, wow. oh no, yeah, oh. which was just a couple like uh, beginning of the month this month. Oh so. wow. Oh, so man. it's uh, so it's real. It is. Uh, I mean, I knew I knew it was real before that, but some people still don't. So. Uh, it is. It sucks. <laughs> oh man, so glad you made it okay. Yeah, yeah. you know, I, I'm. I guess I'm technically recovered, but I, I still gotta. I want to go get like a physical, see what's going on with my lungs and all that, because uh, it takes a little longer to get back to 100. percent So, uh, but yeah, I'm doing good. It was just uh, sort of ironic timing that I'm like promoting this album, and uh, and I'm actually I was actually sick. So that was that was how my year ended. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see how, how the next one goes. <laughs> well, culmination. Wow. Do you feel like the suspense is gone? Like you're, you know, now you're in the know. Like you know, you've got the antibodies. We're all still scared. For now, yeah. But uh, you know, I checked. You know, you can check online or whatever. See where you are in the line for the uh, vaccine. You know, like the New York Times. I think that it's a thing where you put in some information and they tell you. How, how far at the end of the line you are. So I'm pretty much at the end of the line. Oh. So uh, by the time I can get the vaccine, I will not have the antibodies anymore, I don't believe. So so for the next few weeks, you know, I don't have to worry as much. I still wear a mask and all that stuff. But uh, uh, yeah, it's going to go back to being scary in the, in the you know, two months or whatever it is. Uh, and I hope I don't get it again. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're okay. That's... Yeah, I'm so yeah. glad I did not know. So, oh could... yeah, it's weird. You know, I was staying home. I stopped even doing outdoor shows and things like in October because the numbers were getting crazy. So it's it's kind of weird. I don't even know how it happened, but uh, but it's you know it's just it's out there. So wow. I got it. Did, wow. But there's no moral judgment to getting it. It just you know. No, no, but but I was shocked because I was I was doing everything. You know, the mask. I'm wiping down groceries before I bring them inside. You know, before I put them away, um, all that kind of stuff. I didn't I didn't see anybody for the holidays. So I, I went, when I when I got sick, I was like, I don't even know how this is how it's possible. So. Wow. Um, but yeah, but, you know, I'm 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 pretty good. Doing pretty good. Thank God. Yeah. Good recovery. So, We're glad yeah. you could have uh, felt good enough to come and, uh, you know, see us before the end of the year. We appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. It's I'm an honor. You, uh, I'm glad you guys asked me to, to come on. Do you have a song today or are you just going to kind of hang? Uh, I don't want to put you on the I, spot. Uh, I could do a song from my from my new pandemic album. It's probably like a minute and 10 seconds, so it won't take too much time. Okay, let's, uh, let's hear it. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so that. Whoops. So the album is on. Uh, it's out on all the streaming platforms. It's called Social Distancing Butterfly. Oh. I guess it's not in tune. Hold on. 
Is that close? That's close enough. Um, so it's called Social Distancing Butterfly, and this is one of the songs on it. I think I'll stay inside again. I'll die if I go see my friends. Go away, you make me sick. I forgot how to shake hands. I'm sure you can't sneeze anywhere no more. But how much more can I endure? And when will the government find a cure? I have a bunch of friends who shared a plate of nachos. So we might as well say adios, muchachos. You can wave goodbye and say sayonara. I saw somebody cough in my carbonara. Will the virus wipe us all away or will it be a hurricane? There's a chance of acid rain. <laughs> California's up in flames again. The future of the world depends on humans with no common sense. The planet Earth will be condemned. Remember when we thought the end of the world would be a problem for a future generation and we did not do a single thing about it. Now we're facing total annihilation. Thank you. <laughs> You're so great. Oh, Thanks. thank you so much oh, for that. Thank Woo. you. Thanks for having me. This was fun. Oh, right. man. Way right. to go. Right. Thank you so much. All right, All right. Tim. All right. Oh, I'm you. up next. I'm yep. up next. All right. Now, you know, I'm saying I got to go with uh, one of the New York comedy kings. I want to give it up to my man, Talent. What's up, baby? How you doing? Yeah. What it do? What it do? <laughs> what it do? Woo. What it do? What it do? How you been, man? How you been? Hey, listen, man, I can't complain. I'm here. We still here. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, uh, Leon hit it on the, the nail on the head earlier when she said that those of us that can can weather the storm is going to reap major benefits on the other side because she's right. I did a two live nights back to back in Atlantic City where people literally drove four or five hours, six, seven hours to be there for like an overnight stay for the comedy. And the energy is definitely different. I felt like we quantum leap back in the 92. Wow. Yeah. We, wow. Quant we literally quantum leap back into 1992. So it's it's amazing out here. Um, uh, since I've seen you guys on the show, I think everybody now should be preparing for the second lockdown. You know what I mean? So I know now that toilet paper is is not the thing to stock up on for Vaseline and cocoa butter. Um, <laughs> Yeah, everybody have their own flavor. Everybody got their own flavor. You don't have to go cocoa butter, but you get the drift. You get the drift. You're gonna be locked in by yourself. Take care of yourself now. You know what I mean? Don't ain't nothing, ain't nothing worse than not being prepared. You got all the toes to the world. But you chafed up everywhere. <laughs> So the paper ain't gonna save that chafing. <laughs> Cottonelle ain't come out with the, the lotion and the toilet paper. It ain't come out. So you know you gotta watch yourself, man. No, but uh, I I'm, I wish you guys the, the greatest 2021. More blessings, more guests. You're doing it right. You know a lot of people are trying to do these uh, pod podcasts and platforms, and a lot of them, you know, bless their heart, they, they're failing because. <laughs> They just, you know how it is when you you bored, you do something you want to do, don't mean you you can do it and pull it off. You guys pull it off and then some, you know what I mean? Oh, so man. whenever hey. you guys call a ring, you know, T available, T's there, you know what I mean? Because I want to be, I love to be a, a part of people that take pride in their work. You can see you guys finished product is from, for you know, folks that get together is like really care about what you're doing. You know what Thank I mean? You. Thank you. I mean, you can tell, you know, her house is clean. You know, Bones trapped in the closet, and <laughs> and clearly Tim has hemorrhoids. He's been standing up for two hours. Nobody stands up for two hours just to talk. You know what I mean? If he's standing up, he's at home. By the way, if he's at home and he's still standing up for two hours, chances are he has hemorrhoids. So <laughs> let's add that to the list. Let's stock up on toilet paper, uh, cocoa butter, and lotion, and Vaseline. <laughs> And let's get some preparation age for Tim. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Y'all gonna stop snapping at my room. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't oh that's a room. <laughs> Nikki says I, I look like it. I'm in a New York shelter. <laughs> it, it does. It looked like somebody said, sit your ass over there and don't move. <laughs> that is that, funny. She said there like a sit your ass was it sit you better sit your ass. If I come in here, <laughs> if I come in here and you out of this closet. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. 
Yo. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was that. <laughs> I love it though, man. Um, you know, many blessings. You have, you guys have a power pack show. Shout out to everybody on the show, man, because you got some greats. And and you know, shout out to especially like you know, my man Damon and Robin, Robin Montague. Let me tell you something. Who doesn't like Robin? It was a time. Robin was the first comedian, male or female, that I felt protective of. You know, in the '90s when I came into the game and I met Robin, just working with her like two or three times, I'm like, I'm like, why is she so nice to me? Like, why is she so? But that was just Robin. So after knowing Robin for a year or two, you know, I was looking out for people. To, I was waiting for somebody to come tell me she had beef with somebody. You know what I mean? I, w- I wanted to put hands on somebody. Like, what? Who? Robin? You messing with Robin? Like, it never <laughs> happened. It, it never happened. You know what I mean? And uh, my blessings and wishes for everybody is. Find something because you got to come out on the other side of this thing better than the way you went in. It's not a death sentence necessarily for everybody. For some of us, it's just a restart button, a wake up call, you know what I mean? A do over, whatever the case may be. So get that thing, find your, your, your niche. Like, you know, I, me, I sped up and maximized my marketing and my merchandising. You know what I mean? And in this last seven, eight months, my thing went from three to 13. You know, I had my shirts, some DVDs, and that, that was it. I called that merchandising. I didn't know what merchandise was until now. And I look back and I see lighters and flasks and coffee mugs and compact mirrors and chapstick and hand sanitizer and towels and hats and hoodies. And I mean, everything. When you see all these different things and champagne glasses, chocolate, I'm like, you know what? The brand is a classic by itself. It's just comedy is will be 30 years old in another year. So it's like the brand is 30 uh-huh. years old. You know, so if you look at my merch, I, I'm, I'm blending it with other classic brands. This is like the Run DMC logo, you know? Okay. But nice. instead of Run DMC, it's comedy in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Like I got the the uh, the Hawaiian Punch guy. I got the Godfather one. I got the Deaf Comedy Jam. When you see on the, on the mug, it's just Comedy Jam. You know, that's like the Deaf Comedy Jam thing. So it's a hybrid of classic marketing. And that's me. That's the one thing that I chose to forefront in this time and go hard on. Everyone out there, the same message applies to you. There has to be that thing or two that you champion. And that when your foot goes on the gas, once this thing clicks, because it will clear up, even though I truly believe we, we're going to do a quick two, three month full shutdown, you know, once we change administrations. But when you come out of that and the weather gets warm again, people are going to be looking for your production. What, what, what were you productive at? Or did you lie down and die? Not physically, but did you lie down and die financially? Did you lie down and die, you know, momentum wise, you know, ambition wise, you know, success wise? Did you just give up on all of that? That's what people are going to be looking to see with all of us as kings and queens and individuals. Thank you. So right. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, thank you, Talent. Is yeah, you up, Laura, or is it Boney? Boney, is it? I think it's you, Laura. Okay, well, he's been sitting so quietly, and he is one of my favorites, also. Mr. AJ Foster is joining us tonight. Thank you, AJ. Hey, how's everybody doing? We're We're so happy to have you. Thank, thank you for having me. You all look good. Um, I'm happy to be back again, Laura. You, you love putting me on right after the legends, man. You're right in there. <laughs> yeah, You're I, right I, in there. I can't follow talent in real life. You don't. I don't want to follow him on <laughs> Zoom either. This is crazy. I, I love those gems that he just dropped, though. I felt like he was speaking directly to me with some of that stuff. I needed to hear that. But um, also, I when I first did the show, I came on early May, so it was early in, in the lockdown. I was also on right after Alonzo. I'm like, you got me on after the dude that just won like last comic standing and I, I get like 30 something likes on the Facebook post. That's that's my highlights right there. It's because we believe you're supposed to be there. That's one day, one day, I hope so. I, I hope I'm on the path to, to, to start them like these guys. And one day I can be looked back as, you know, a comedy legend like Alonzo or Robin and, and talent. So. Okay. But uh, during this whole lockdown, um, uh, I had to get really comfortable with this whole Zoom thing. This was something new to a lot of us. And your show was one of the first Zoom events that I actually did and have done countless ones after. Um, but after I did your show, I had done no comedy for you know close to two months at that point. And I didn't realize how much I missed it until that point. And once I got that itch, I had to go out and find 
new ways to be creative. I've done dozens of outdoor shows here in New York on the park shows and everything like that. And you know, it's, it's good for right now, but uh, I miss the real thing so much. I can't wait until you know, next year when things are safe again, finally be able to get back on stage for real and do this at full capacity. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Lord yeah. knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're so blessed to have you here. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank, thank you for having we me. We wish you only good things. Appreciate thank it, man. Yeah, you're AJ. Thank you. up, okay. Buddy. I think it's Kim's turn. All right. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to go with a female. How about that? Boom. Boom. Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to go. With... Mia, what's up, girl? Hey. Hey. Can, can I, can... hey. 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 How you doing? Hey. Welcome I'm, back. I, you know, thanks. Thanks for having me back. So, hmm, what do I say? Am I, I'm, I'm talking about what, what I learned in 2020 or what happened since I've been on the show. <laughs> uh, well, um, um, I know Robin was talking about hair mm-hmm. earlier. I learned some hair lessons as well. And I learned that if you do not have the skill set to <laughs> dye your hair with a demi permanent, you should not do it because that's how you get bald spots. <laughs> and that's how you end up with weave bangs because you got to cover up. <laughs> the stuff that you were not able to do because you thought you had the skill set to do but I I wore wigs through most of the pandemic because I could not comb my hair and this is what I got now this is some leftover wig hair just as a bang because this is the best I can do for the rest of 2020 because I don't yeah my my hairstylist was like bitch did you know you had a mullet like did you know that you didn't have no hair at the top you didn't have no hair I mean I I, and, and I kept going I was just like you know, really, I was like, I mean, it felt light, but I just really thought that it was the natural, like, hair products I was using, but she was like, no, you don't have nothing, so um, I learned to just leave things alone, that's what I learned in um, 2020, just leave, leave your hair alone, that's, um, that's one thing, um, let's see, what, what, and from the show, you know, I was, I was thinking, I was like, when did I do it? And I think it was in August is when I did it. And um, like, the thing that I do remember about it is like, I can't say there was anything specific that happened, but I do remember just, I just really enjoyed just the connection piece because, you know, I hadn't met any of you, I, th- I think, or maybe I met Tim. Did I meet Tim? Like, did we talk about that? Like at a festival? Or yeah. Something? Yeah. I met you at a, I think, a couple of comedy festivals. Comedy festival. Yeah. Yeah. So it was just really cool to go this is such a cool way just for me to be able to connect with comics that I might not have otherwise, you know, just people I might not have otherwise met. So just, I just, it, that was the the thing that I remember and just, and just you all being very warm too. So it felt like, you know, cause sometimes you do some of these zooms and then you're just like, Hey, and you just sit there for a few minutes and you're just like, yep, I'm Mia. <laughs> And, the, you know, so it was just cool that, you know, and I, so that's, that's what I um, really appreciated. And then I guess going back to um, what we, if we talk about what, what am I hoping for in 2021, um, really just for my hair to come back, really, <laughs> for the main, that's really, I just, because I've been putting, I've been, I've been, she's been making me put, my hairstyles made me put rosemary in my hair to get Ow. some, get some follicle. <laughs> Get some follicle movement happening because of the things I did. So no, but no, but I really, no, but I just really hope that everybody continues to follow directions, continue to wear masks, which I do have a, I don't know if this happened since I talked to you guys, but um, I do have a pro mask, non-science reason to wear a mask if you're not into it. But um, I do eat hot sauce on my chips and sometimes I have hot sauce stains on my face and I just leave the house with my mask and nobody knows. <laughs> so um, it just gives you a chance not to wipe your face is what I'm saying. So just let, <laughs> let them condiments sink in. Let them get, let them get in there and get you, let them, let them work into your system. So that's another reason. So wear a mask, let's be better in 2021. That's what I want. He's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <That was> funny. <laughs> Oh my God. Thank you for that. That was necessary, actually. Yeah. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, go ahead. Thank you. We can't hear you, man. You're muted, Tim. 
down, calm down. Can you hear me now? <laughs> calm down. Yeah. All right, so check it out. I am going to go, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I feel like, you know, we built like, you know, a family between us. So, you know, I'm going to stay with the family category and I'm going to go with my cousin, Marlon. What's up, cuzzo? Are you guys? Can you hear me now? Y'all can hear me? I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. How y'all doing? What's going on? I appreciate it, Tim. Yeah, me and Tim are uh, long lost cousins that we found out about each other like a year ago, maybe right. two years. So it's good <laughs> that y'all had me back on the show. Um, it's good to see all the comedians on here. Comedians like, um, yeah, we really can't hide our faces because how do our faces look when we waiting to go up is how headliners look when they put so many guest spots before them because it's hilarious. I see Robin's face, I saw Sylvia's face, I saw <laughs> Talent's face, <laughs> Mia's face. So that's how we all look. We be like, oh, another guest spot got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your patience. I know this is a lot. No, no, it's not. It's not a lot, but it's like it's the face. Like I'm like, yeah, I've seen that look before. I've seen it. <laughs> But it's, uh, it's, it's good to see everybody. I appreciate y'all for having me back on here. Good. I see some familiar faces, uh, Mia, Garfield. Um, I never got to meet Robin, but I watched Def Jam the other day and I, I love the Diana Ross impersonation. So, I mean, <laughs> Def Jam doesn't go away. So, I mean, quarantine, um, I also had it. I was one of the people that had it, uh, coronavirus. So, um, it's Atlanta, we wide open. Come on out. <laughs> we even <laughs> out coronavirus sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, my message to people is that, like me, to say, you know, wear your mask, do everything you're supposed to do, um, and, and whatnot. Just follow, just follow directions, because you know, this should have been over with. It should have been over with. Uh, we should be living our normal lives. Uh, but instead, you know, we're about to have a second lockdown, and we, I got to do more Zoom and, and uh, Instagram shows. Uh, I really enjoy those. Uh, <laughs> but um, since the since I've been on your show, um, I've been you know still performing. Um, I started a, a R&B podcast, which I had Garfield on there, and he came on there and, and showed love. Um, right. started, it's called Love to Laugh Podcast. I have um, R&B singers on there, you know, uh, pretty much hearing their story, you know, going down memory lane. I enjoy that very much, so make sure y'all check that out. And I'm also um, doing shows with uh, Melvin Riley from uh, Ready for the World coming up next year. So I'm going on the road oh. virtually and physically with, with them, so that would be dope. And I'm also, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop doing shows. You can you can take the live shows away. We can do virtual, whatever, you know, comedians, we understand that, you know, we gonna get our money however we can, you know, during this pandemic. So that's what I appreciate. So thank God for the internet. Uh, thank you, Bill Gates, but fuck you at the same time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just thank, thank everybody, man. Thank y'all so much. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay tuned. I love hearing everybody's story. And who's the guy with, Anthony, uh, play that at my funeral. I like that song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I almost played it at mine. <laughs> uh, I have to so say much. that Marlon, you you really have come through for us, and you have a great show. You have a great oh, show, so and because yeah. of you, we've gotten some great guests. Also, I want to acknowledge that you've been our booker for a little while here. You and Ken. <laughs> uh, so I just want to recognize that we just love you, and, and I'm so glad you're feeling better. Too. Well, yeah. when things open too. up, we still gonna make that Ohio show happen. We're gonna take it back. We're gonna take it back home, brother. We're gonna take it back home. Let's go. I hope, yeah. I hope it don't look like uh. Damon Williams background. I know. That's how I was like, like that. is that Cleveland? That's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mad love, so Marlon. Yeah. Mad love, love Cuzzo. Okay, it's my turn. And I want to just also recognize somebody who's patiently been waiting and was one of our very first guests. I think you were maybe number three or number four, Jeff Bujak. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Jeff. Me. You. Hello, folks. <laughs> what's going on, man? How are you doing? What you got Good going on back you. there? I know a whole big mic, damn. Yeah, yeah, I'm in my studio. Um, yeah, something that's kept me pretty uh, uh, occupied during this whole time, I guess. Yeah, it looked like you can't leave unless you make a hit record. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> and that's the weird thing. I, I released an album in January, and then I was uh, planning a tour this year to, for my big comeback, and yeah, that was thwarted. Wow. But um, but other than that, yeah, just uh, yeah, it, it was interesting because I think when I was on, it was definitely one of the first shows, and um, and at that time, I you know we I think Prodigy, my game room, just shut down, or uh, yeah, had to shut down, and then um, I started streaming video games online, where a friend of mine would play piano uh, to the music that's in the game while I played, 
and uh, I had good commentary. So that was really fun. So I do remember that from, uh, from when I was on, it feels like uh, it was like 10 years ago too. Um, yes. And, and yes. The, the gray hair shows, it was, it was about, um, you know, a full head of blonde hair ago. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, just trying to make the best of stuff uh, this year. I definitely concentrated on myself. You know, I went from being a touring musician right into, you know, well, I had a full-time job for a little while while I planned my game room and then I went right into that. So I really never took uh, a break in my life. Um, I just kind of went from one thing to the next. And so, um, you know, just not having to do anything or pretty much not having any obligations gave me um, kind of reason to make some new goals and some things that I, uh, I've always wanted to work on. So kind of disconnected online, kind of concentrated on my, my local uh, community. Um, you know, really when I got to reopen in July, I just kind of had this, this new awakening for supporting uh, local. You know, I, I, I want to I want to really stress, you know, support your local businesses as much as you can. You know, small businesses are, uh, are going to be overlooked in this. And that's you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a hard time for us. You know, we put our dreams and our, our money and everything on the line and um, some decisions are being made without our, our input. But regardless, um, you know, I'm just going to do what I can to try to bring in a few dollars here and there and follow the rules that they gave us and, um, and try to get through this. But yeah, it's just, it's, just a, it's a struggle. But next year, I'm, I'm uh, you know, hopeful that, that, that this will survive, my business will survive and we can kind of keep going from there. Unfortunately, you know, other arcades in the area and other game rooms are probably going to not be around anymore. So it's oh, kind of no. like I'm, I'm taking the, the, um, the, 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 the torch in a way. I want to offer something amazing for people when, uh, when we can all go back out normally. So um, yeah, just concentrated on that and trying to provide the best place possible for some people to go have fun because I'm selling fun. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's not fun to do right now. So it's, uh, but it's, you know, just doing what I can and trying to laugh. I mean, laughing is something we all have to do right now. I mean, regardless what it's about, you got to put a smile on and say, all right, well, this is life, right? This is what we do. And we got to just keep moving on. And um, all those, all those quotes, just uh, keep living, right? Or trying right to. on, right on. So what um, people didn't know that, that Jeff had this uh, game room of all retro video games, 80s, um, um, Atari, um, you know, um, what Xbox, and, and oh, just yeah. all these, nothing new, just all retro games and board games. And he had this uh, minute yeah. and it had a miniature golf. Yeah, um, very difficult room. miniature golf. It like was it. very difficult. Was, yeah, I still, still think I should have got a hole in one <laughs> on that. I'm still mad about that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, but that that's that's what it was. It was like a retro, like a sort of uh, throwback to mm -hmm. the arcade sound. It was, it was local and it was very, you know, it was community. And, you know, mm -hmm. when we started out, we were very community. We was very, you know, we were uh, about promoting local. And I mean, we still are, but I mean, that's sure. what, um, that's what we did. So, it, mm -hmm. you know, I just wanted to give people a little context about that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I know you had to shut down for a bit, but the space is really spread out. It's a really great mm -hmm. activity if you kind of, especially if it's winter and you want to feel like you're able to go do activities. Yeah, so. definitely. I mean, again, we follow, not only we, do we follow every rule, we go above and beyond to make sure that um, everything is appropriately cleaned and, and people are masked and, you know, trying to have the, the safest fun possible. You know, we under, I obviously understand not everybody can come out right now, but, you know, uh, if you just stop by and just check it out and, you know, if you hopefully feel safe, that'd be awesome. You know, we've heard a lot of feedback from people saying that they do, that they're actually surprised how, um, how safe they do feel coming in. So uh, we haven't had any phone calls from any uh, authorities or anything. So we're, uh, we're doing the best we can and, uh, and, and doing it. So yeah, yeah, stop down, just check it out. Come check it out. No, East Hampton, Mass. Yes. Thank you. It's good stuff. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Definitely. Thank you guys. So is it me? Is it me? Yeah, Am I, I think on? Am I on? Is it you or is it me, bro? No, oh, it's you. You can go. Ladies and four gentlemen, do your thing. Okay, so I'm going to roll with uh, another female. Boom, Erica Nolan. Erica! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> you got to unmute, hey, you unmute yourself, girl. Hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> hey. Yeah. You you lucky you got me now. You see me with this cup was going lower and lower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what y'all was gonna get. I don't know what you're gonna get. <laughs> so good to see you. Good to see you guys too. I, I I'm grateful. 
220, I don't know. It's been shitting on me the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know. It's been everything. I don't know if you guys know. I had, first of all, if we shut down again, I need to switch houses. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my motherfucking house. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of people in it, too. I have way too many people. I tried to break up with half of them. Like, like it's, not me. it's me, but we work this shit out. Like, I just think we need some space and some time. And I'm talking about my kids. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Yes. I had a fucking heart attack, you guys. Yeah, she's had several things, right? Several Did you guys know that? Oh, shit. No. Oh, really? No. I, I went to get, remember, I kept canceling shows and canceling shows, trying to get a kidney stone. I went to Boston and had a fucking heart attack. Oh, shit. They Wait. had to resuscitate me and bring me back. Whoa. <laughs> So glad you're here. Like I'm sorry. Thing. Yeah, I'm sorry to bring it now. It's been so fucking serious for me to 2020, but I appreciate everything and everyone. I have sat down, and if my comedy never meant anything, it may, everything I've said has come to fruition. I'm, I don't know what to say. Wow. Yeah. Oh, God. God, I'm so grateful to see you and that you're talking and you're healthy thank god like damn it was a alternate universe looking down at myself in icu fucking dead i'm telling you <laughs> i i know that a couple of people mentioned that they would had covid i had covid as well and i think that was directly affected to how i had this reaction to my procedure it's this thing is no joke covid uh -huh. is no joke and the after effects of it, I do, I believe it was directly affected. I'm telling you. Oh, shit. But I sit here a gentler, kind, kinder person and more ready to get on stage than ever. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Amen to that. I yeah. have so much to say. Woo. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Thank God. But thank Love. you guys for welcoming me on. And then I got to see Sylvia. I, I'm, I'm out of D.C., so even seeing and hearing her coming in, seeing Leanne Lore, talent, everybody that's been on, I bless you guys. I, I thank you for allowing me to join in and sit in on this session. That's all I can say. It's an honor to have you, and yeah. oh, even more so you. now, really. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Lord. Um, yes. Um, I'm ready, though. I'm, I'm telling my truth is amazing now more than ever i'm it's ready amazing to tell my truth that thank bring us bring us the light thank you for not going towards it uh oh i was running i was running so fast <laughs> away from it i was like not yet not yet not me <laughs> but yeah all of us but not today. Is it's been um, and it, it's been an amazing year. That's all I can say. And I'm just so glad that I can sit on this call with so many funny, amazing people. That's all I have to say. You want to shout out your real quick your uh, your brand at the Funny Bone? Oh, well, oh yes, Project Hilarious. I am. We are so ready to go back there. You know, I love I love comics. I'm a fan of comedy, but beyond that, I'm a fan of funny females, and I cannot wait to return with not only that, what so many other ideas. So, oh my God, I can't wait. Right. I can't All wait. Right. Good, yeah, and Robin has one, her hand up. I'm not one to speak a whole bunch out loud, but we're ready. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I apologize for all the background noise. I have, a, there's a war in the dog house here, but there's a new German shepherd. So she's a little bit- I know, I've I have a pandemic dog too. She's running around here somewhere being, being an you gotta, asshole. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. <laughs> but now I wanna call out my friend. I need to see the manager, Mr. Artie Rob. Oh. <laughs> Can I talk to the, up, the Artie? manager? Already got an unmuted mic. Yeah, that, we, we're on Planet Artie. What's up? What up, Art? What up, you know Artie? What's up? You know what's up, bro. <laughs> hey. You know what's up. What's up, y'all? It's good to see y'all. I'm glad y'all invited me to be back. We're so grateful to have you. Yeah, man. It's good to see y'all. Uh, 
first of all, I just want to say uh, I'm, I'm thankful for y'all for continuing to put this platform on. Uh, I want to know that in 2020, I, I learned that Kim got a butt now. I learned that. <laughs> She's, every time I see her, she say that. I got a butt. Look at my butt. No, I got a butt. In 2020, okay. Uh, Laura, uh, I didn't realize that you was black. You were in Indiana. Didn't know. Thought you was white. Okay. And Tim, you know, you already know Tim. Tim's my man, you know, butt light. Butt light, Tim. Turn up on two butt lights. Now, on, a, on a more serious note, uh, on some real 2020 shit, um, I learned that to be better than I was uh, you know, in 2020, I wasn't 2019 as a person and just my overall presentation, you know? Um, I think that life is short, man, and, and it's for the living right now. So I'm on some living, live this life a day at a time, a week at a time, whatever, because life's not promised to you right now. I mean, you know, a lot of things are happening besides the COVID and just, you know, I have a lot of friends that passed away, whether it was through the COVID or whether it's other things. So it's taught me at this point, man, to get it in right now. Um, so I also, you know, I'm happy. 2020, 2020, 2020 was pretty good. I mean, I was catching the bus one day, then I started getting unemployment. Now I'm driving. <laughs> they said, well, you better off four years ago than you're out of there. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to keep sending them stimulus checks and shit so I can get some gas for my Jaguar. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> You're just sitting in it until you got gas, right? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for 2021. Some more gas money through the government. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Uh, on some real shit, though, uh, one of the things I learned in 2020 was, man, to get back to uh, comedy. Comedy is great, and I love comedy. But 20, 2020 taught me about making other ways to make money. You know what I'm saying? Um, it took me out of the day-to-day -day grind of comedy and put me back on track and using my, my common sense and some of the skills that I have to be able to generate revenue through different sources, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting a business. I don't even want to talk about it, but I'm starting a business. I'm going to be up and running in 2021. Um, I'm excited about 2021. I'm, I'm shooting a special at the end of the month, in Jan well, in January, the end of the month um, for Netflix. I hope this goes somewhere. I'm doing a little Netflix special, so. Oh my God. Doing. Yeah, I've been doing it. So it's not an individual, it's a team thing with some other comics, but you know, I'm looking forward to that. And that's, that's one of my most exciting things. Um, in fact, last night I had my last show of the year um, and I shot a, a, a DVD um, thanks to Philip Anthony, uh, my man, he was a feature. Um, and I did about, you know, about 45 minutes, almost an hour. And, and the majority of the material was new and we had a great time with it. It was, even though I felt rusty before I went on, um, God kind of blessed me and allowed my talent to shine through last night. And a lot of the stuff was, you know, extremely funny from what people were telling me because it was a lot of stuff that I had never told or new stuff. Um, but that was a great, that was a great time. So I think I ended the year right as far as comedy goes going into 2021. Um, I'm just looking forward to seeing some of my old friends and going back to, you know, seeing people for real in 2021. You know, the social distancing thing is great. But ain't nothing like really with your comrades or your co-workers and you're, you're having the opportunity to kick in and talk and get back to a little bit of normal stuff. And I know it's going to be a while, but I miss I miss uh, all you people, man. I miss, you know, the fact that hugging, hugging is out now. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You can't even hug nobody. You got to give them a pound and then you can't recognize them in the mask at the time, you know? So for those things, uh, I can't wait to get back to those kind of things, man, and, and back to regular shows. Um, where, you know, because that's one of the things, I mean, virtual shows are great and outdoor shows are great if it's not cold outside and all of that. But I'm not used to people honking at me for, for, for applause or for approval. I, I like the good old laughter and, and, and the gut laugh and stuff. So, and I've been a comedian for 20 years. So I miss that part of the game, you know, but you got to stay safe. So um, at this point, man, um, for you guys, man, I, I think you guys can continue to provide this platform because it's a great platform. Uh, you guys do it really, really well. Um, I, I actually, you guys do it. You, you're one of the best, you know, and I appreciate that. Oh. And you're from my area. You're from my area, so you know, I, I'm like we all we on like the four one three thing. You know, what I mean, <laughs> you show them how it's done. So I appreciate you. Um, I mean, I don't have much to say other than man, I'm just looking forward to continue to stay safe and hope my loved ones stay safe and anyone I care about. If you out there know. I want you to stay safe and I give a fuck about you. 
You know what I'm saying? I hope to see you in 2021. Aww. Thanks, Dardy. You're the best. Right. Thank you. Yo, I love y'all, man. Be safe, okay? Love you too. You too. Thanks, Dardy. Thanks, Dardy. Right. Right. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay. Who's up next? Um, is it me? Is it me? I think it's so. Well, well, since, it's you. Well, well, since he, um, you know, opened it up, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to um, uh, call out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Philip Anthony, you know, um, <laughs> comedian, laughing uh, Latinos and uh, funny for funds. You know what I'm saying? All around smooth, smoothest Puerto Rican dude I know, man. Smooth Puerto Rican <laughs> dude I know. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, man? What's up? How you doing? How you feel today? I've turned down every Zoom invitation on the planet except yours. <laughs> wow. I, I, I do Zoom all day for work. You know what I mean? Zoom yeah. and Microsoft Teams. So I just can't relate that to comedy. It's so hard for me to get into the comedy mindset when I'm doing this because I, it's, you know, it's another hat, another part of life. It's ridiculous. For me, you know, but uh, what I learned in 2020, in, in 2020, I mean, it, this COVID is tough, man. I lost my dad this year. Oh. Uh, so it's been tough. Uh, I learned that every guy my age dies his beard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and then I started dying my beard, and I was like, "This looks great," but now I gotta wear a mask all day, so nobody can fucking see it. So it's, it's like I, you know, told about getting get, get in the boat late. Like I learned that shit late. I started that in 2019. I've been been rocking. The, the nice beef food. I just let it get gray. I don't give a shit anymore. Um, you know, I I started I started doing different things. I started picking and sitting down. It's it's more comfortable now. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that shit. You know, my wife can get mad at me getting up in the middle of the night, going in there. She got she up in the morning and this the seat's wet. So I had to change my habits. But you know, you know, I fell asleep once and my legs didn't work. So. That, that's I gotta get I gotta get better practice at that. I gotta practice that a little bit more. Um, and I learned that I'm old. I learned that 48 is, is really old. And I learned that because of some of the gifts I got for Christmas. And uh oh. I, look, look, look. This is what I, this is what I'm gonna give you. Right now. See this shit? <laughs> Tim, you want more? Your booty. <laughs> Listen, I was excited to get that. <laughs> that's how I knew it was old. I was like, oh, no, shit, I need this. That's, <laughs> fucking, that's how you know you old. I sit in this chair all day for work. Then And then, you know, I'm, I'm designing shirts and stuff. Like, it's funny. I love this Italian shirt. I got that same shirt underneath because I've been making that shirt for a while, too. The, the whole, like, you know, that's, I guess the same shit. And it's just, it's parallel thinking. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hey. Woo! Hey. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, shout out to, to, to Tally because you know I learned a lot from him too. Uh, and just like I learned a lot from Marty and from you guys, I learned a lot from anybody I, I come in contact with. If you have something genuine about you, when you take a piece of it, um, but yeah, I think it's really very interesting because he was talking about mixing fans, and and I, I was making this today. Well, you guys can see it, but it's the word comedy. With all different moments. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? So like a Comedy Central, Target, McDonald's. Yeah. It's next door at Disney and Yahoo. That's a, that's a shirt that I'm, I'm designing right now. So it's bugged out because I do the same thing. I'm going to take familiar brands and, and, you know, relate it to comedy and share that with people. So it's bugged out, man. I love you guys a lot. You know, I love Tim, Kate, you guys, and Kamal. You guys are great, man. I always appreciate, you know, being any of them, too, whether it's virtual or, or you know, real, real is better. But, uh, you know, thank you guys for having me on this. Like I said, this platform was crazy to see all these, these other, you know, people on here. Like, <laughs> the, the level of talent, and not just talent, but, you know, the level of talent that's on here is amazing. So just to be on this screen with you guys, it's an honor for me. So thank you guys. And uh, I, I wish everybody a much better 2021. Um, I look at 2020 like like Monday, right? If you can kick Monday's ass, the rest of the week is your bitch. So man, let's kick 2020's ass, get out of here, good, and then we can run 2021. 
Oh, right. So sweet. And and I just want to say thank you for always being that pitch hitter that if we needed somebody, he's right there. He's like, you call him, you text him. He's like, where, when, what? And he's always there. Thank you. I'm driving. I'm have another life. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he's solid. He he's does. Solid. He was sure you right. We're going to get you some audio for 2021, though. Yeah, that, right? I was going to say, you're talking to this can. But I can relate to that seat because, you know, uh, my job, you know, when I'm not doing comedy, I'm a residential counselor at the homeless shelter. And I just sit in a chair all night and I know exactly what you mean, man. I know exactly. I'm, I'm, I looked at that. I was like, man, that thing looks plush. <laughs> no way to get you. I was excited to get it. That was the that's 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 crazy. That's like the time I was CVS. Oh my god! They got tons of tropical flavors. <laughs> <laughs> I excited with this shit, man. I got CVS going around. I got some good shit, man. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I want right. one too. So I think that's. I mean, we got one more person, right? We got two, two more. Two, two more people. people. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause uh, um. Yeah, she looked like the lock no, character in the video game. Who's the we third? We got three, right? We got um, Black, Onika, and um, Al, right? We already had Al. Okay, right? Yeah. So you want to pick? Okay. Yes. Um, Black, you can you can you wrap us up, Black? I'm gonna I'm gonna call Onika and Black on wrap. Can Black on wrap us up? Okay, Onika. She driving She's now. Driving. Oh, she driving. Okay. Give me a second. Hi, guys. Oh, That's our transit talk lady, <laughs> my new friend. She drove. Oh, my God. Like, oh, this is such an honor to be asked to come back to the show. I was looking at all those people's name. I was like, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, they must see something in me. God, I need. Yeah, that was nice. Thank you guys for having me. It was amazing. What, what do I learn in 2020? Don't drive on the... Um, on the, I don't even know which park where I am with the damn ring light for your car. Don't do it, but uh, you got to keep it moving. You just got to keep it moving. 2020 has been a cluster freak of uh, bad news, but we've changed yeah. a lot. There, it's been a clearing and we've changed a lot. And if you come out of this differently, then that's amazing. And that's what I, I plan on doing. I put uh, first before I was kind of like, you know, doing a bunch of different things. And now I'm just like, as long as it's relating to comedy, then that's what I'm doing. That's my, comedy used to be my girlfriend. Now she's my wife. You are putting in the work. You are putting in the work as we see you all day, every day. And with all your many characters, I can't decide who's my favorite now. Yes, like, and I sink into that, like doing characters, just being my whole, my whole crazy. When I was like a little kid, I would do all that stuff and I would interview myself all the time and so now you just get to do it that's the one thing about comedy that's so amazing that you get to be a kid yeah yes and we so what did i learn from the show uh uh we talked about a lot of empowering stuff on the show that i did for you guys yeah. and and it was like kind of refreshing because instead of just being funny or trying to be funny or entertaining people i was able to talk about you know how i really feel about certain things and that was that was amazing oh we're so lucky to have you All right. thank you so much thank you i gotta i'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a I'm worried like, about you <laughs> all right so i'm worried about me too so let's get bye bye <laughs> <laughs> okay Thank you so much. So the final and, and lovely and worthy contestant, no, one of our great guests who also is feeding us many new guests. So thank you very much to the one and only Ken Black, otherwise Woo! known as Dash. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're mute. You're, you're still muted. Oh. Hey, so are there people still there? There's, there's yes. People Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting so patiently. Ooh, I'm like, yo, listen, I, I feel like Marlon, like, wow, another comedian? <laughs> was <a> long show. <laughs> this was a long show. But I, I, I see the collage of people, and I, and I said, wow, this is special. This is honorable uh, to be here. Um, I was, like, really hoping that they didn't put me up behind um, Robin. Um, Robin killed um, a Zoom just now. And... and <laughs> 
Yeah. And I thought, no, I thought back, no, and I'm saying that to say, I thought back to when I first started doing comedy and I did a show with Robin and Robin killed the show and they kind of like put me a couple of people behind Robin and I just like took a nosedive. But Robin came over to me, I, I think she said something like, oh, baby, you'll get them next time, something like that. So <laughs> I, I definitely know what, 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 what Talon was talking about. Um, I watched a lot of the shows and there was a lot of great shows going on. Mom, G Bright had a great show. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, I seen uh, Onika's show. Onika was like really, really good. And, and, and so now I'm looking at the screen saying, wow, I got to go back and check out some of these shows. I, I miss Erica. I miss Artie Rob. Oh no, I did see Artie Rob. Um, I miss I miss Marlon. So I'm like, wow, I, I need to go back and check out some of these shows. Um, for me, for 2020, what, what I've been doing is I, I've been trying to um, find out my password to my AOL account. Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole pandemic, I'm like, you know what? There's an email that I missed. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's an email that I missed in 90 something that told me about this coronavirus thing. And I was really trying to find my AOL password. Um, I'm still searching. I'm still searching for my AOL pass because I, I like these. I used to like to do AOL chat. Um, so um, that's that's basically what I've been, you know, doing for 2020 is um, just living this different life, man. Because it, it, you know, it, it's just different. Um, like talent and 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 someone else said, you know, when we come out on the other side, you got to be ready. You got to be prepared because it, it's going to be there. You know, people are like really uh, fiending for 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 what we do. Um, Tim, Kim, and Laura, um, this was a great, great, great platform. Um, hopefully you can continue it past the quarantine. Um, and hopefully, you know, um, you have as many, you guys had Alonzo Bolden on there. I, you know what, and, 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 Rob, and Robin and, 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 and Sylvia, you know, I, I'm, I'm a man of a certain age and I remember watching Robin on Def Jam. And I remember watching Alonzo um, before, I seen Alonzo before uh, the TV show. Um, so d you guys did a great job with, with, with getting some great talent. Um, you guys got um, Erica on here, Marlon, uh, 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 um, uh, my boy, uh, 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 the Latin comedy, uh, uh, Philip, Philip, Philip. He had another name. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a quick story about Philip. So Philip had another name on the internet. And <laughs> it was some other name, and he would never book me under that other name. You know. Then I came out to 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 eat to to, to Eastern Mass, well, Western Mass, or whatever, and I did a few shows with, with Philip. And Philip recorded a nice um set of mine, and so now I know who he is, but. Philip had another name about five or ten years ago, and 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 he 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 he, he would never book me, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> I, I love you guys, man. I love I love this show. The show is great. And if I'm, I'm gonna leave with this, um, because because um, my Knicks are on, I'm gonna leave with this. If you guys are thinking about nominating the best show of the year or, or picking the best show of the year, my nomination will go for. Onika McLean. That would be my nomination oh, for the best nice. show of the year. Now, Onika, mind you, I haven't watched the other shows, so you might get bumped. But <laughs> <laughs> for the shows that I did see, <laughs> Onika and then G Bright, you're a runner up, G Bright, because I'm going to tell you the only reason why you're a runner up, G Bright, is because you totally took over their whole show. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was on the G Bright show and he was interviewing you guys. So yep. G Bright, you would be um, a runner up. And then I didn't see any, oh, Artie. Artie, um, oh, he's leaving out. Yeah, he got back in the car. Artie, um, call time is at six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Not 6.40, Artie. I just wanted to let you know that I sat around and waited 35, 40 minutes for you to come on to say, Yo, what up? <laughs> <laughs> call time. <laughs> when they give you a call time, Artie, you got to be there 15 minutes before the call time. <laughs> that's professionalism. Yeah, call that's time. Great. Now I'm just joking. Um, thank you for having me. Thanks, thanks. Um, for the for having the platform. Um, you guys keep up the good work. Okay. Thanks, oh, 
this real quick. That name that's up there that you see, Kenneth, that's of somebody else. My name is Ken Black. Okay. Somebody, somebody tapped into my Zoom and they did and and they're using You've a different been hacked. Name. Yeah, I've been hacked. So my oh. name is Ken Black. Marlon, that's what you. happened to me too. That's why I had a different name, Ken. I was hacked. That's why no, I no, no, that's I was not somebody what else. No, 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 that's not what happened to you. You <laughs> one of the Puerto Ricans that lived in New York and ran to Massachusetts because you had a war. That's what, that's what happened to you. <laughs> you're a Puerto Rican from the Bronx that ran to Massachusetts and you had a warrant. So you were changing your names up. Now I'm just joking. You guys have a great new year. Um, thank you for having me. I'm out. Wow, thank you. Bro. All right. Well, we are that? so blessed. Thank you. Oh, I know, right? Thank Holy you. Jesus Christ. Oh. Wow. We oh. are. Uh, well, we have some some guests that weren't on the show, but they did send in some messages. So um, I guess we should just jump into that. Okay. Real quick, and then we got to we'll close out. I might, show. I'm going to pop out, folks. Um, I have a thing that's about to die. So thank you thank so you much. And I'm going to go on mute. Oh, Thanks thank to you all for the guests who came on. It was Bye. great to see you, Lauren. Hey. Quarantine call in show. How's it going? Love you guys. Got me in the middle of a recording session. Thank you. So That's much. what I've been doing in 2020 is tracking here at home, doing a lot of recordings, which is great. I love doing that. Uh, and today I'm actually wearing pants in the studio. You can tell. <laughs> oh, and also my quarantine Colin shirt. Thank you for sending. I love it. Very comfortable. And if you don't have a shirt, you better order one today. Okay. I can't hear so, it. Yeah, it's time to kiss 2020 goodbye right yeah we're all we all need that and what's happening for 2021 uh working on a new chicago album which should be i don't know what it's gonna be now but we're gonna be tracking it I can soon, whether in the next month or two so that's what's going on with me i hope you guys are well hope everybody's safe and i'm gonna get back to some work okay peace love and music what to get everybody for the holidays because it's the thought that counts anyway it's comedian wendy liebman wishing everybody at the quarantine call and show an amazing holiday season Aww. and thank you so much laura for having me on this past year you made the year go by more quickly and I just wanted to tell you that um, coming on your show made me realize that taking chances is a really important part of my life because we had never met and you approached me out of the blue and it was one of the highlights of 2020 for me. So happy new year to everybody to, um, all of your guests and all of your listeners. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you again at some point. Bye oh, for now. Oh, man. Hey. It was That's a Wendy Cotton so calling show. It's your girl Cotton. And this is my retrospective video submission. Uh, this year has been crazy. I'm very fortunate to have had the opportunities to do outdoor comedy shows, virtual comedy shows, as well as uh, transition. Um, my production comics rising from in-person theater shows to virtual shows successfully, as well as get, you know, some industry looks. It's also put me in a position to pursue what I love to do, comedy, stand-up, content creation. You know, just being an artist and a creative in general, it's, it's allowed me to pursue that full time. So I'm just taking full advantage of it now while I can. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for having me on your show earlier this year. Cotton out. Hi, guys. I really want to thank you for the work you've done this year in uh, launching this particular show that brought laughter and information and communication um, to us week after week. When I really think through 2020 and I think through the pain, the protest, the pandemic, that we've experienced. 
One thing that comes to mind the most is in every tragedy and downturn is the potential of opportunity and upswing. And as the last few days of 2020 is waning, um, I believe that we must keep our eyes really looking beyond our immediate setting and begin to focus on all the opportunities presented to us. Um, this year, I'm really saying rest in peace 2020, rest in peace to norms and traditions, to um, rest in peace to weighty, wasting precious time, um, rest in peace to the over 300,000 people in our country who have lost their lives, the COVID. And so this year has been a tough year. And I sum it up with like three phrases. We laughed, we cried, we survived 2020. Mm. Dr. Atu White from Mount Zion Baptist Church. All right. Wow. That was, that was so sweet. Wow. Oh, well, how wonderful. Well, I don't know. This has been a very long show for all of you. I know you may all need to go to the bathroom now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to do this again next year. I hope you know that you're a family. And whenever you want to come back on and talk about something new or whatever you want to talk about, please feel free to let us know and we will have you on. Um, I don't know what else to say, except I love you all. Happy New Year. Yes. Tim? Oh, that's cute. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm back. I was doing some technical yeah. stuff. But I, like, listen, I want to say what I've learned from 2020, man, is, is like, listen, man, creators going to create. And everybody up on this pan, piano, this piano is a, a, a creator. I, I ain't going to make up a new word this week. I Thank promise. God. I, I, I ain't going to make a... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna make up a new word, but no words. <laughs> but like, oh, shit. We, we, you know, we did it, man. We all, we all came out. You know, we all made it so far. I mean, it was not over, but to this point, we made it. Some of us had to go through things, like you said. Some of us uh, lost people. Some of us, you know, you know, actually, you know, was really affected by this pandemic, but. I mean, just what, what came out of that and, and we continue to just survive and, you know, just let's look out for each other and, you know, build our community, keep our community strong. And, you know, and I thank every one of y'all for being on the show, man, because y'all y'all could have been anywhere else in the world, man. But y'all was like, yo, Sunday night at 6 p.m., I'll do your show. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I'm, check it I'm out. So... My, my cousin Marlon is funny. <laughs> So we're going to yep. get him up here. We're going to bring him here, do some shows. When we go to Let's Atlanta, go. look him up. You know what I'm saying? He, he is definitely, he's definitely working. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, if he sends you a friend request, don't look at him strange and, you know. <laughs> he's a good friend indeed. He, he is. is. He is. He's good. He's he, good. he ain't going to find me on the Galaxy S10. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. I was like, who is this Galaxy S10? No, no, not with that speaker. No, I'm not gonna find you. <laughs> <laughs> just so y'all know, I got the Galaxy S20. I just use this shit because it's still connected to Wi-Fi. Oh, we're gonna say I'm, we're just, still changing names. Don't judge, don't judge still me. Still changing you know? names. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the word you were trying to create, Tim, is creativitists. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we gonna rock with that pillar. We love you guys. With. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So much gratitude and just um, stay safe and healthy, everybody. Love you. Love you. Whoa. The quarantine guys, call-in show. Year, 2021, here we come. Woo! Yeah, see you next year. Any U.S. citizen of the United States will be subject to up to 14 days of mandatory quarantine. Got that vaccine, third eye clean, we visine. Dancing off the top rope, we dug the off them high beams. Running hard like track meets, debutants and back seats. Nine cents for clear feet, my piss desperate five. Double parts on planet Mars, they surf the net, we surf the stars. Quarantine in Zanzibar, breathing on the masses, paper like.